Good morning. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm Auntie Sandy. To everyone who knows me around here and on the YouTube family. Um, I couldn't sleep this morning. I try to sleep late, but I never sleep late. So I said maybe I can have coffee with some of my YouTubers. And y'all, I'm still scared to go live, but I will start going live after a while. But anyway, I'm having coffee this morning. And one of my new mugs, it said, it says, I got it from my mama. You know, I got a lot of things from my mama. And I didn't realize it until later in life, all that I did get from her with her wisdom and her teachings and her kindness and her honesty. Um, I got it from my mama. This morning, and I've been thinking about this for a while, I wanted to just start um, on my channel something else called Coffee and Scripture. And when I give scriptures, it's not to pour it out on you, but it's for me as well as you. And I'm striving every day to be the best person that I can be through the power of God. There is no perfect one. There is no perfect nobody. But we can strive to perfection through the word of God. And when we fall, we can get back up and keep trying. This morning, I'm going to sip some coffee. This is my Seattle's Best Coffee this morning. And it has, I have three creams and one Splenda. And it tastes very good this morning. So if you want to go make you a cup, go ahead. We're just going to wait a minute, go make you a cup of coffee. Go get your Bible. I know this isn't live, but whenever you watch it, you can make your coffee, get your Bible, get your phone, get your tablets, whatever you want to get so you can follow along with me. And along with the scripture, I have a Bible, um, and it gives an encouragement word for each day. And I'm going to try to stick with that unless the Lord says something differently. For our encouraging word, word with coffee. You know, I might not be able to have it every day. But on the days, I would love for you to join me with coffee and scripture. Okay, today is November the 8th. And here in this Bible, I'm just going by this Bible. Um, it's King James, because that's what I learned when I was younger. But I have nothing against any other translation. In my ministry, when I minister, I use all kinds of translations, all kinds. So, Proverbs 12 and 18. There is that speaketh like the piercing of a sword but the tongue of the wise is health and if I was just to break this scripture down to my understanding of it it's like when you talk against people and treat them wrong it's like you're piercing them with a knife but if you talk to them nicely it is wise and it is healthy. That's just how I break down that scripture. And I am not a theologian. You know, so if anybody want to comment anything ugly in my comment section, you go right ahead. Because I'm just doing, just doing what I'm told to do. So, and the little encouraging word under it is, I meet people everywhere I go who were raised in a climate of sarcasm. All they ever heard was cutting, 
belittling abrasive words. On the outside, such people may appear unharmed, but inside they are still bruised. Cut and bleeding. Unless they find healing, the invisible hurt will usually make its presence known and felt in one's negative way or another. We Christians must be on our guard about sarcasm, but of its powerful negative effect, this word is worth examining According to the Webster's New 20th Century Dictionary, it comes from the Greek word sarcasmos, which is derivative of sarcasm. And I may not be pronouncing these words right, but just pray for me. Meaning to tear flesh like dogs. In other words, that's like someone being attacked by just mean dogs that's just tearing their flesh when you are sarcastic to them. The, their words tear to shreds, wounding the flesh and especially the spirit of victims. And not to talk a lot, you all, but since I went through a bad depression because of a lot of sarcasm in my life and because of a lot of negative piercing wounds in my life, not by just one person, but a lot of people who have been in my life. And I'm learning that it's a lot of us who are going through a lot of mental challenges and a lot of, of, lot of hurts and fears because of sarcasm. Positive note. The verse says, the tongue of the wise is health. Our words can cut or they can mend. They can wound or they can heal. They can tear down or build up. We have a choice. We can pierce with sarcasm or we can heal with words of wisdom. Luke tells us that the people were astonished at the gracious words that came out of Jesus' mouth, Luke 4 and 22. What a role model he was following the Lord's example. We can always speak healing words. Let's do it. And I thank God for this daily message this morning because I really was thinking the other day, you know, during this election and during this COVID-19, I've heard a lot of sarcasm by people that I loved, people that I thought very well of. But you know, as I always say, I am responsible for how I treat you. And you are responsible for how you treat me. I will not hold anything in my heart against the sarcasm that I heard during this time. Because the Bible tells me that love covers a multitude of sins. And I still love those who I was very fond of and thought very well of. I still love them. However, I don't think that I could be comfortable with them like I was. And I'm not saying this to hurt anybody. I'm not saying this to talk about anybody. I was just giving you my thoughts of how I felt, just a little bit of my thoughts 
But anyway, I pray that you have enjoyed this coffee and scripture. And I pray that you have a wonderful day today. And let's take what we learned today as it said. Let's do it. Let's watch our sarcasm speaking. Because sometimes you're being sarcastic and you don't even realize it. So there's also a scripture. And I, I will throw out scriptures sometimes but because they come in my memory. There's also a scripture that says, Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth and keep the doors of my lips. And we're going to end this video there. And as I always say, who the sun set free, you are definitely free indeed. Continue to enjoy your coffee and may God bless you and may you be well and healthy in mind, body, and spirit. Bye-bye.